In this video, we will learn all about proportion properties. First, let's talk about what a proportion is. A proportion is what you get anytime you take two ratios and set them equal to each other. Remember that ratios can take the form of fraction or two numbers separated by a colon, or they can be written out in words. In the case of proportions, we pretty much will always use fractions so that we can set the two ratios equal to each other. So an example of a proportion would be five over two, or the ratio of five to two, equals the ratio of four x to seven. Now, the way you solve a proportion is you use a technique called cross multiplication. which is essentially what happens when you multiply both sides of the equation by the denominators. So let's cross multiply it in order to solve this proportion. Sometimes it helps to draw in some circles to remind you what you're multiplying. And the two things that I've circled at a time are what you're gonna multiply. So we're gonna do five times seven, which is 35, and then two times four x, which is eight x. So our original proportional equation is equivalent to this equation down here, because all we really did was multiply both sides of the equation by seven and both sides of the equation by two. So to solve this equation now, you would just divide both sides by eight and get your answer for x, it's 4.375. Due to cross multiplication, our original proportion is equivalent to a few other proportions that might look different but will have the same solutions. One is if we just switch the place of the five and the seven. So that would give us seven over two equals four x over five. You should see that if you were to cross multiply in order to solve that proportional equation, you would end up with the same 35 equals 8x, and therefore the same solution. Another way to change the original equation would be to change the places of the 2 and the 4x. That would result in the proportional equation 5 over 4x equals 2 over 7. Again, these are just other equations that are equivalent to our original equation. A third way to change the original proportion would be to flip both of the fractions. So that would be change 5 over 2 to 2 over 5 and 4x over 7 to 7 over 4x. Notice in each of these three ways of changing the equation, the cross multiplication remains the same and that you're still multiplying the same numbers together to create each side of the equation without the fractions.